This is Anthony from Adelaide, South Australia. He's angry that he's a musical failure, so he's traveled to see me, Matt Farley, in Danvers, Mass. I'll teach him to earn money and to be an artist of the middle class. This is... <laughs> To stay on track of my assignment, I have to write at least 10 songs a day. I was already falling behind. I just hoped to God my next lesson from Matt would help me. Hey Lee, hey there Lee, Max, 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 Bruce, 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 it's your birthday, happy birthday Bruce, it's your birthday, yeah. happy birthday Bruce. Now what's the worst part? You have to sit through the whole thing again as it mixes. Record. Hey Bruce, hey there Bruce. How many of your songs are name songs? No more than 6,000. <laughs> that makes my total seem a little less impressive when 6,000 of them are just singing people's names. It's the musical equivalent to a keychain with your name on it. Is this your least favorite part of what you do? Yeah, it's very tedious. But on the flip side, you don't have to really like strain your creative muscles much. You know, it's almost like taking a day off. Part of the gimmick of me is that I have so many songs, you know, because that's a good way of getting the attention of, of writers and whatnot. And part of the way to make sure that my number stays high is to just spend two months in the factory, the music factory, singing different names on a thousand of them, and then boom, your, your, your total is up again. Happy birthday, Bruce. I got my song count back on track without having to resort to cheating with name songs. I'm nervous, but ready for my first exam. Jaws 3 is a great movie. It's the one I want to see. Jaws 1, 2, and 3. I know which is for me. <laughs> That's really, really good and fun, so fun. Again, I don't know if it's gonna make you a middle-class artist, but um, it'll crack a few people up at least, yeah? <laughs> this one is the worst song I've ever written in my life. Worst song? Yeah. Oh, good. That's a good way to sell a song, I'm not even kidding. Okay. If, you're, if you go around being like, you gotta hear this is the worst song ever, <laughs> they wanna hear it, versus just like, hey, I read a song, you know? There you go. Stand out any way you can. <laughs> So this is to replace dun 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 dun. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the shark, you know, as the shark's swimming and this is playing. It's a whole new movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So this works. I love it. It's brilliant. It's it's a great joke and it's uh. Jaws three. Jaws three. Yeah. Yeah. That's for the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel better about that. I wasn't feeling too good. I actually showed the the crew um, yesterday morning. Jaws 3 hit the money. Oh, Jaws 3 hit the money. Were you meaning to be out of key? Like, was that? No, that's just my voice. So you've been having singing lessons, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Everything you've done so far is fantastic. You're totally uh, on the right track. The humor is brilliant, the sound is fantastic. Um, I can't say enough good things. Thank you for complimenting my music. I'll accept that compliment. I would never refuse it. The music I hate is the I aced my first exam and was keen to keep going, but I wasn't allowed. My producer was taking me to get some fresh inspiration. 
She said I can't just write all my songs about an obscure film I'd never seen. I wasted a whole day actually experiencing things rather than just singing about them. I'm not more inspired. I'm just behind in how many songs I have left to write. Now my last three days are going to be novelty songwriting hell. Where are we at? 50. 51. Oh, 51? That's not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah. Well, I was, I was hoping to get 20 done tonight, but I'm really dreading the idea of going back to Gloucester and writing 20 songs. Yeah. Do you ever get that dread, though? Oh, yeah. My whole life is not <laughs> just constant dread. What's better, a life without dread or a life without having created a bunch of stuff? Mm. He's thinking about it. <laughs> I'd rather have a dread-filled life with, with a whole bunch of finished works on my shelf than just to, you know, you relax your whole life, what, what, and then you die. What, what are they going to say on your gravestone? Here lies Anthony. He took it easy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> when people say they spent a month working on a song, it's not true. They're lying. They spent a month just hanging around, and they, they spent 10 minutes on it here, 10 minutes on it there, and it adds up to a couple hours, I think. It's all about staying focused during the time. I feel like I've reached a crossroads. If I spend any less time per song, then for me, I don't know if I can still call them works of art. Do I keep going and truly sell out in order to complete this challenge? Or should I quit and keep hold of the small amount of artistic integrity I still have left? This wasn't meant to be so hard, but I've quit everything else I've ever tried, and that's what has led me here. I know now what I have to do. I said goodbye to my artistic integrity. There aren't enough minutes. I'm never gonna finish. Bit of more than I can chew. Bit of more.